guys, so we're in the shop today and I picked up a TH400. So let me show you guys. Um, I ended up selling that 4L80E and then I just bought this TH400 yesterday and so I'm gonna go ahead and test fit it into the car and uh, hopefully we can make a trans cross member for it. But yeah, that's the goal for today, uh, make the cross member and then I can actually start on the actual turbo system. So. This is an FTI level 4 transmission with a trans brake and then the reverse manual valve body. So it should be good for what I need. I'm pretty excited. It looks cool. And Chappie's pretty excited about it too. So I'm just going to throw it right in. It should be pretty easy. And then get the measurement so that I can make a cross member today. Um, so this is it. <laughs> That's the temporary cross member. Uh, I'm getting one CNC plasma cut. Um, from a buddy and he'll be bringing the parts in in about a week but yeah the welds aren't bad on it like they're not bad welds it's just kind of sloppy but the transmission fits in there just nicely it's with this cross member it's just I think the pan is just parallel with the uh, frame so that's good that's kind of where I wanted it and... All right, so the other thing that'll be kind of cool to show you guys is I've mounted the turbo. So, um, right now, this actually is not permanent because I don't know if you can see, it's not exactly center. And I think I might as well just cut and re-weld it before I make an entire like <laughs> turbo system for this. Uh, cut and re-weld it and move it just an inch over and then um, it'll be centered. But this is actually how I have it mounted. So I've, I've made this little crossbar with um, little steel squares. And then this is welded to the frame because I didn't want to weld just one little thing. I wanted that, that stress to kind of be distributed because this is thinner gauge metal than this. And then um, I just welded the uh, T, T6 flange to this. I could have had this actually clocked downwards and that was an option, but it was gonna be more tricky to do it because then this this turbo would have been set back because I can't just clock it downward as is or else this would interfere with this. It'd be clocked back and then this bar would be right in the way of the oil drain. So that would have been the issue with that. And then also I don't, I don't think there really is any benefit to doing it that way. Well, it has been a few days, weeks, I don't know. It's been a while um, since I've been able to film an update. I was going to like film as I was working on the car, and then I got a little bit of work done, and then I got really sick. So um, I, I think I got the flu over spring break, but I made some progress on the car. Um, I did actually end up making my, my full-on cross member. And so th those are the pictures of the cross member. Um, I didn't film that stuff because I actually was sick when I welded it up as well. But I mean, it's in the tra the real trans cross member is in. I have the really ugly mock up one, and that's also um, just sitting like on a scrap pile somewhere. I don't know if it's somewhere in here. Um, but I'm still getting over being sick. But this is where the car sits right now. So I made a bit of progress. Um, this is welded all the way with this flex coupler, but then this is just tacked on from here. And then this reducer is TIG welded. Um, so it's, it's coming along. Um, this is gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna have a flex coupler like somewhere here with V bands and stuff. And then it'll go to that header. And then I need to order a five inch pipe because this is actually five, a five inch outlet. And um, I'm gonna have to do pie cuts 90 degrees and then it'll come down and then I'll probably cut this radiator support right here and it'll come down and it'll go out the front bumper on the side. And so I'll probably cut a hole right here. Right Chet? <laughs> yeah, he thinks that that's a good idea. So, and the trans is in right now. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's in there. And uh, the cross member came out really, really good. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, 
I just gotta do school, but maybe this weekend I'll be able to start welding up the rest of the kit. I do have to get my truck fixed. Ugh. Other than that, I, um, I do have school this week, but hopefully I can do some welding tomorrow or this weekend. Other than that, I have to fix my truck because I put it all together and the, my Silverado, the lightning's gone, but I need to fix the Silverado because I put it all back together and now it's making still a ticking noise and I think it's the camshaft I put in. Um, so I'm probably just going to throw a stock cam in it and just, just run it. Um, but I need it running because I need something to transport welding cylinders. And I only have one cylinder left right now and they go out like the... I think mine are 120 CFM or cubic feet and it just drain like they go out really quick with argon and TIG welding. Other than that, there's not really that much of a crazy update. Um, I did also start, you can't really see, but I cut out the bottom of the car and I'm starting my mounts for the uh, fuel cell. This fuel cell is going to sit down and then I'm going to put a cover over this, like a, a metal cover. Um, but these are some practice cuts of the fuel cell mounts that I was going to make, but I'm actually going to make these smaller because there's no need to have them at like 11 inches wide. I'll probably be half. And then you'll have one on each end that holds this fuel cell in place. Uh, other than that, that's about it. The car looks really cool. Um, sitting down, like at ride height, like it looks pretty mean. I, I'm, I'm excited, like with the turbo and everything, that is, ugh, that looks awesome. And then um, I need to order the radi, <laughs> I need to order the radiator. And um, other than that, just kind of keep working. So now, I don't know if any of you guys watch Sloppy Mechanics, but that is a lot of it where the information that I'm getting for this build is coming from. And uh, Matt just worked with Holly and they made a new ECU called the Terminator X. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna end up running on this car because it's $1,000 for what I need. <laughs> and um, this wiring harness, I haven't even touched it. So I'm probably just gonna sell it uh, and just, I don't know, sell it on Sloppy or sell it somewhere because the Terminator X just looks so much easier to deal with. So other than that, that's about where I am with this build. Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to finish the hot, or not the hot side, but the pressure side of the exhaust and film some video on that and then um, hopefully start working on my truck, I think. So other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.